Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll see how to configure data logger printing in FlexiSoft software. Now we will look some of the possible uses of print log data. However the detailed logging and print recording is often used for general monitoring. Uses includes 1. Checking for abnormal use or activity and 2. Monitoring an individual user's print habits. Let us see how to configure data logger printing in FlexiSoft software. Create a new project in FlexiSoft software as per hardware selection, here I am using FP5070TNE series HMI. On left side of your screen in project list. You will see configure data logger wizard, expand it and select internal memory. Where you can configure data log printing. After selecting internal memory. Group information window will get open on the screen, here you have to set data log information. Here select number of group for data logging as per the requirement, so we will add only group 1 for now. Here after memory is full following action to be taken as stop logging or FIFO. Here selecting FIFO. Here we can select logger memory size as per data logging requirement, here selecting 20 MB. Select the group, group 1, set group 1 information for data logging. Six different logging mode are available but for data log printing we will select logging with runtime frequency. So now in frequency tag you have to select or add variable. So we will add variable from here. Select tag window will get open from there you can add tag. So here you have to assign tag name and select register coil type. In register coil type we will select word. And in tag name you can assign any name that you want. After assigning all click on add and then close it. After closing it. It will get added to your select tag window and then click on OK. Now you can see that define variable is get add to frequency tag. So now on left side of dialog box you can see define tag. And on on right side of dialog box there is tag which has to add it or to be logged. Now select variable or tag to be logged and add it. So we will log system defined RTC tag here. So select your defined tag and click on add. After clicking on add it will get added in tag to be logged window. Once tag is get added print properties option get enabled to configure click on it. After clicking on it print properties window will get open. In logged tags, user can select any tag with any order from the logged tag list for printing. Select tag and add it. In tags to be printed, user can set the table properties by column heading, column width and printing format of tag. So change it as your requirement is. In general, paper size is fixed to A4. If unit is switched off, power failure message will print. Power up characters will print first log data once unit gets power. Communication break characters will print only with PLC tags. In time column, if user want to add time column, he can add it by selecting the checkbox. In margin, this is related to paper margin for four sides in printer character size. In header, user can give maximum four line header for each page. Here we can add date, time, or data of log data in header. In footer, 
user can give maximum 4 line footer for each page. Here we can add date, time, or data of printing in footer. In print preview, user can see the print preview as per his setting in print properties. Now after all this print properties setting click on OK. Now after print properties setting go on start or end time tag for printing. If user selects single day option, then user can take print out for selected day only. User can enter date, month, and year in selected tags at runtime. If user selects more than one day option, then user has to enter start date or time and end date or time in appropriate tags as showing on screen. So create tag for each and assign it to start date or time and end date or time. So after assigning tag to all, we can see some general information menu on the screen. Click on it. So now you can see that in general information if you are using logging mode with runtime frequency then it should be greater than or equal to 30 minutes. Once you completed all the setting again go on group information. And click on OK. All the setting will be saved. So after your data logger printer setting is completed or done. Now we will do network configuration setting for serial printer so that we can take print of our log data. On left side of your screen in project list you will see network configuration. Expand it. Now define serial printer in one of the given COM below. Here we will define serial printer on COM1. So right click on COM1 and add it. After clicking on add node information window will get open on your screen. Now in protocol select serial printer. Once serial printer option is selected in protocol. Printer port setting option get enable. Select it. After selecting serial printer setting window gets open. In that set your baud rate, parity, number of bytes, terminating character and printer columns. Here we are selecting 19.2k in baud rate. Do your another setting and click on OK. After all this setting click on add and close it. Now you can see that your serial printer configuration have been done and added to COM1. Now we will go on our main screen. And there we will define start and end date tag on our screen and assign key specified task to bit button properties to print log data. Let do that. To save time I have already made a print data screen. So now we will import that screen in this project. So to import screen go on screen menu properties. And select import screen. After selecting one window will get open. In that select your project and open it. 
After selecting Open, Import Screen window will get open on your screen. Select screen that you want to import, and import it. After selecting import it will get added to your base screen. So this is print data screen that we have made to print log data. And this is enter date table where we will assign start date, end date and also frequency tag. In start date, we will assign date, month and year from where we can start printing. In end date, we will assign date, month and year from where we can stop printing. And in frequency tag we will assign time in minutes. Where you have to note that it should be greater than or equal to 30 minutes. Suppose frequency tag is 30 minutes then it will log data every 30 minutes. In start printing you can see go button has a sign. After entering start date, end date and frequency tag. When you will press go button it will start printing your log data. So now let us assign tag address and task to all of them. Select the numeric data entry. After selecting data entry properties will show on right side of your screen. There you can see tag name. Select the tag name and assign the same tag that we have defined in data logger. Select the tag and click on OK. Same we will do for remaining also. Now after assigning tag address to all start date, end date and frequency tag. Now we will assign task to our start printing that is go button. Select go button. After selecting you will see bit button properties on right side of your screen. In that you will see task selected. After selecting screen task window will get open. In task select press task. After selecting press task go on select task. In select task. Select key specific task. After selecting key specific task you can see multiple option enable there. In that select. Start printing of group option. In that we will select one because in data logger we have defined group one. And in port we will select one because serial printer is defined in com one. Same you can do for stop printing. After all setting click on add. After adding it will get added in press task. Click on OK. So whenever you will press go button it will start printing in given date interval. After assigning all the setting. Download your application in device. Once your download get completed, make sure that communication between HMI and serial printer is OK or true. And then press go button from HMI after entering start date, end date and frequency tag. Your printing will get started. So like this we can print log data from FlexiSoft software. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment, like and share. For more videos, please subscribe our channel, and press the bell icon for updates.